Hello everyone, it's these Hobbies, and I'm back to show you Liana and some of the clothes I bought her. So here's little Miss Liana. She says, I'm dressed in a Halloween outfit because this is going to be the week of Halloween. So she says, I wanted to show off my dragon uh, shirt that mom got me. She said she got me another shirt uh, for Halloween to wear. So this is my little outfit. I got two bows, red bows in my... my uh, pigtails and um my little dress is a i mean not dress i'm so used to saying dress uh her little top is long sleeve red background t-shirt with little black dragons all over it flying every which way she said that's kind of scary huh <laughs> she said as usual i'm not looking at at mom i'm looking off at something else anyway <clears throat> and then she's got on her black sweatpants and her black and white tennis shoes she said so I'm looking kind of cute for Halloween. She says, this is not my actual Halloween outfit, but I will have one soon. So, <clears throat> anyway, um, I thought this little t-shirt was cute, and I got it a while back from Dirt Cheap. All right, we're going to the clothes. This is a cute little dress I got on eBay. It's um, seersucker material. I actually said it good that time. <laughs> anyway, it's got little bumblebees embroidered on it, flying around all over the uh, skirt part of the dress. And the top is black and white gingham, and it's got a black and white gingham trim. And then the middle is yellow and white. And then it's got a little well, <clears throat> black with white polka dots, bow, and a little flower. Flower's all rumpled up. It didn't dry very good. I, I washed all these, so I don't know if I'm going to press all these. I found my iron, people. I actually found my iron. I was so thrilled. I packed it in a little box and forgot about it because you hardly use irons anymore so anyway so I found an iron I had bought an iron and I knew as soon as I buy an iron I would find the iron this is the back of the dress and then we got this little navy and, and white and coral colored dress it's um, got little cap sleeves and the top part of the dress is navy and white stripes and it's this is a um, Jimboree, and it's got a little coral grow green ribbon around the waist, and then the bottom is a navy skirt with little um, embroidered things like beach stuff. You know, there's a chairs and umbrella, and sailboats in the sea, and a bucket pail and uh, spade for the uh, sand on the beach, and some little birds on the beach, and a little beach house, a couple little beach houses, and seashells, and it's got this funny little bird riding a bicycle. I don't know why they put that on there, but it is. But I thought it was funny. It made me laugh. So, Oh, and the lighthouse. It's got a lighthouse in the very end with seagulls. So, anyway, I thought it was a cute little dress. So, uh, I got that one, and then I got this one. This is a um, sundress. Uh, let me move it over here. You can see it better. A white uh, spaghetti strap sundress. It's got a little pink flower right there. And then at the bottom of the skirt's got pretty little floral, uh, like wildflowers, growing around the bottom of the dress. And they're very pretty. Kind of, kind of a uh, pinkish color and a coral color and an orange color and a yellow color. And I thought, it's so cute. And then this one's the back of it. It's buttons down part of the way. You can see the buttons. I thought it was cute. And this one is Old Navy. And then I got this one, which is a little uh, white sundress. And uh, it's got a little red bow and it's got ruffles around the sleeve area. And then the bottom of this has got like a, I call it a circus design. It's got little kids playing. One's drumming. One's got flags in her hands. It's got a big top, like a circus tent. See it in the background? Kids doing a cartwheel or something. And then an elephant and a lady uh, dancing on top of the elephant. And um, a big Ferris wheel with little, you know, things to ride in it. And a bicycle, a girl on a bicycle, and a little boy on a drum. And another little girl with a flag. Basically the same print, just again. 
but in it, it's cute. I thought it was cute. It was different. I've never seen anything with a, like a circus theme, you know? And so, this one is called Polka, what does that say? Polka Dots. And uh, I got that one. I thought it was cute. And I'm going to have to iron these when I get my iron going. Now this one I had gotten on eBay. And it is a really tiny, tiny, tiny check red and white uh, jumper. And on the front is a ribbon Christmas tree. And I thought it was so adorable. And um, these bows like right here. Let's see if I can put came with it. They were pinned on this up here. I guess they had to pin them because you couldn't uh, wear them unless you pinned them and take them off. But I'm going to make these into hair ribbons for her so she'll have hair ribbons for her ponytails for Christmas. And I thought this would be cute. But uh, So these little ribbons pretty much match that. It's a little bit different in color but I think it's cute anyway. So this is the little dress and then the ribbons of course. And um uh, this is a Secret Wishes. Never heard of it, but I thought it was too cute not to get. And put her little red shirt or white shirt under it. Would I think white would probably be the best because the background in this is red and white. And uh, this is the back's plain. But I thought it was so stinking cute. I like that ribbon tree. I think it's so cute. And then I got this one. Let me get the panties off of it because I got the panties hooked on it. This little um, sweater dress and comes with a little diaper cover. Here's a little diaper cover. I was trying to take off the hanger. A little diaper cover. And then it's got um, kind of like a um, different texture layers and it's got silver glitter threads running through it. And I thought, oh, that'd be pretty for. Christmas or Valentine's or anything really. It's a cat and jack and it's got a little bow around the waist and it's got little kind of like stripes but they're like grooves and different textured things and I thought that was so cute. I said that would be cute on her for um, like I said Christmas or Valentine's Day or just in general. And then um, <clears throat> I got this one Get this one out of the way. This one here. And I thought this was cute. I got this at the... I think this was at Goodwill. Pretty sure this was Goodwill. Or maybe it was eBay. I'm getting where I can't remember now. But it's got little ruffle sleeves uh, around the uh, armholes. And then it's made by Jimboree. And it's kind of a orangey... I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, it's kind of an orangey color. And um, it's not really coral. It's more orange. But it's got little ribbon buttons on the front. Flower, um, flower ribbon with buttons in the middle. There's one that's white with black polka dots and an orange button. An orange flower, grow grain flower with a black button. And then a black grow grain with white polka dots and an orange button. I thought it was so cute. I said I like these bright colors for her. And then the very last thing I got was this. And I'm going to have to explain something about this one. This is going to be her Halloween top. I got off of eBay. It was $2.50 and then $2.50 shipping. So I could, I could handle that. It's Cat and Jack, too. It's a good brand. And um, so it's... It keeps moving. It makes my camera flick. Okay, there you go. It's got little sleeves that have um, ghosts on it, and they say boo and everything, and it's a bright orange. It doesn't look very bright here. It looks kind of mustardy orange, but it's really a bright orange, a real Halloween orange. That's weird how it doesn't give the right color, but anyway. And it's got a little zipper pocket down there, and originally the zipper pocket had this inside sewn inside the zipper but it was sewn like this upside down so when you unzip the pocket you had this little ghost pop it out upside down which i thought was ridiculous it should have popped up out like this but it didn't so i cut it out and i'm going to attach it to the front it reminds me of a pac-man character for some reason i had to cut it off the bottom so i had to make the 
bottom kind of wavy, so kind of like see, this ghost has got wavy sides. That's what I try to do with this little pack. I mean, pack man, this little ghost. So this is her Halloween shirt. Okay, so it's y'all can tell me which you like it better, like plain like this without the little ghost on it, or should I put the little ghost on it and you know I'm gonna um. Uh, Put the stitch witchery or whatever that is. It attaches it to the fabric and iron it on. I think it would be cute with or without, really. But I, I actually like the little ghost. I think he's funny looking. So that's her haul. Not a great big amount, but enough. Enough. So she's got more clothes than I do. <laughs> anyway, y'all take care. I'll be back with uh, Theme Thursday. Bye.